Prescott Van Meyer III sommelier from home. In today's episode, we're doing Signer Ricetta Originale. So this is known as an Italian aperitif in the Amari tradition, so a bitter liqueur. Now, when I think of bitter liqueurs, I don't necessarily think of artichokes, but that's what those industrious Italians have thought of. That's probably one of the reasons why I avoided it, either consciously or subconsciously, probably both. I mean, I do enjoy artichokes in my pasta dishes, like many Italian dishes, so maybe that's what they're going for here. Liquid pasta that'll make you drunk. This is stretching the budget a little bit, but they do give you a full liter, not a bad amount of alcohol. They do give you some recipe ideas on the back as well, mixing it with rye whiskey and red vermouth, that sort of thing. So it looks like you can enjoy this alone or in a cocktail. Nothing spices up a Manhattan like a little artichoke. Oh, a little artichoke. That's actually something Abby used to call me. I took it as a term of endearment. She never said it to my face. It was only in text she sent to other people. Just like an artichoke, let's open it up. Mm. Wow, got a very deep, rich color to it. Smelling uh, quite medicinal. Smells like the love child of cough syrup and amoxicillin. Whew. So they say it's mixed with uh, 13 herbs and spices. No wait, that's KFC. This is herbs and plants. One of them being the artichoke, which we discussed earlier. Making me think of emergency surgery to take out my appendix. Reminds me of that I Love Lucy episode where she's drinking all that Vitamita Vegemin. Kind of a plant-based nutritional drink she was having. <laughs> kind of like Jaeger's naturopathic cousin. All right, well, let's take a sip. Well, sweet on the mouthfeel, very syrupy. The bitters aren't too aggressive. And on the bitter scale, it's uh, very much near the lower number. We're not quite up there with uh, the Mulwort. <laughs> That's far, far away. So this feels damn near pleasant. Let's give it another taste. Very sweet with those bitters kind of coming in. Still very medicinal, very herbal and plant-based. A really nice Italian interpretation of what a bitter should be. Kind of reminded me of a flight, nice Italian wine. Whereas the Italian wine takes you to countryside, this is kind of taking you to the couch in your dentist waiting room. Be honest, not really tasting the artichoke too much. Feel a little ripped off. Funny, that's what Abby said in one of her texts. Feeling ripped off by not getting the full artichoke. I'm assuming she meant I worked too much. I mean, as you know, I used to be employed wine guy. Speaking of gainful employment, you may have noticed I've uh, not been gaining weight, been losing it a little bit. Clothes are fitting a little bit looser than they were before, just haven't been eating as much as my budget dictates. So, you come across any food coupons, send them my way. I mean, I've pretty much ran through Dean's food by now. Not much left in there. Found a pineapple I'm excited about and an old box of rice -a -roni. So I'm gonna cook that up tonight. Some pineapple rice -a -roni. If his water is still running. I think it is. If you've seen Dean, let him know I've been collecting all the envelopes under the welcome mat, put it under his bed, next to all the other heavy boxes under there. Just let him know I was never here. He just dropped off the envelopes and left. You don't have to tell him I was using the kitchen. I assure you he is not watching this channel, hopefully. Who would be drinking this? Well, plant-based alcoholics, vegan mafia bosses, and Patchouli Dave. I met Patchouli Dave at a Trader Joe's once. Now I'm on his newsletter app. Every time I hit unsubscribe, it confirms it, and then I'm right back on it. It's why my inbox is up to 80,000 unread emails. It stresses me out. But thank you all for sending your emails of support, and even the ones with a little bit of derision, or a lot of derision. I still read them, and it's still I still get a kick out of it. it. Might be a kick to kick me down, but it's still a kick. What's that old saying? Love me or hate me, just don't ignore me. Thanks for not ignoring me with all those insults. I would pair this with a nice plump tortellini or spaghetti carbonara, or hop and ride back of a Vespa on your way to a romantic evening at the Olive Garden. Hopefully getting the senior discount and not having the server give you any grief about it. You really need confirmation that I'm over 55? Really? We're gonna do this? I asked for the discount. So, 
Just assume I'm that age, please. And we need more breadsticks. You said endless, doesn't feel endless. Feels like I'm getting cut off of the breadsticks. And you stop grating the cheese when I tell you to stop grating the cheese. If I don't tell you to stop, don't stop. It's not my fault I'm in charge of ending the cheese grating. I wanted more. When I'm here, I'm family. And I'm also in charge of the cheese amount, so just keep it coming. I will tell you when to stop. And for my rating, I'm giving Signer a 47. They kind of hyped me up with the artichoke, but I was a little let down. I want to deduct some points for that. Just feeling like one of many, many things that are letting me down these days. And who among us hasn't been let down by an artichoke? I know one of us has. Specifically, really disappointed with the artichoke. And then she used an eggplant emoji, which was confusing, so I just ordered us some Italian. 